10 ways an RV salesman is going to rip you off. Coming up. Hey there, how are you? Dr. Dave. I'm also known as the RV dummy because you know, I don't know everything. But I've got an episode for you today that I think you are going to love. Before we get started, do me a favor, a real quick favor, just press the like button if you're so inclined. It helps the channel out quite a bit. Our cat gets to eat another meal and we just appreciate all the likes we can get here. It does, it does help the channel. If you're so inclined, if you're not a subscriber yet, click the subscribe button and enable notifications. So every Tuesday at 9 a.m. Eastern, when we come out with a brand new video, you will be alerted because you don't want to miss it. Speaking of not wanting to miss something, today's episode is going to be, I think it's gonna be crazy. Here's the thing. Um, one of, I think the number one most viewed episode I've ever done was called, what was it called? 10 Things Never to Say to an RV Salesman. It was uh, close to a year ago, not quite a year ago, but getting closing in on a year ago. It's, it's gotten an incredible number of views, which tells me that RVers and future RVers want to know how to get the best deal and what mistakes they shouldn't make when speaking to an RV salesman. Now, since I did that video, I've done a, an inordinate amount of research into some of the tactics RV salesmen use. And I wanna be very clear, there's some very, very good ones out there. A lot of them are very ethical and honest, and I'm not speaking to those right now. Um, but there are a lot that are not ethical, and I guess the word would be unscrupulous, and, and wanna make a deal, wanna make a sale, no matter what, if it's the best for you or not. Uh, they wanna make money, and I'm addressing this type of RV salesman today. Some of the research I did is downright scary. And of course, as you can imagine, I could not get an RV salesman or even like an ex-RV salesman to come on the show with me and show their face and, and give these tactics that they've used or continue to use. They just won't do it. Nobody wants to put their name to this. They'll be happy to tell me offline and when not on camera, but no, they're not gonna, they're not gonna share their identity at all. So. I was wondering how to get these through to you the best way. And of course, what came to mind was, well, I'll have somebody act out the role of an RV salesman, a, a horrible RV salesman, a, an unethical RV salesman. And who could I get to do that? Well, my friend Robert over at Rose of Life RV channel, he's been on here occasionally in the past. He's a great guy, very knowledgeable. And I never knew that the guy could act also. So I, had a discussion, several discussions with Robert, told him some of the things, 10 things, 10 steps that an RV salesman will use once you walk into their dealership or showroom or whatever, wherever it might be, 10 things, 10 steps they might use to really, really rip the living daylights out of you. And we're depicting that today. Um, you're really going to enjoy it. I'm going to bring Robert in, in just a couple in just a minute his name actually today will be Josh the RV salesman um, and I think again you're gonna learn a lot again this is just an example of 10 ways 10 steps that they can use to rip you off it, it varies from dealership to dealership and again not all are bad I'm, I want to make sure you understand that but the ones that are bad are really bad really bad and they've got some just horrible things they do which will be acted out right now and I'll be back with you at the end so Josh, the RV salesman, are, are you ready? Josh, are you ready? Let's, let's come on in. My name's Josh. Not my real name. I'm an RV salesman. Here's the 10 steps I'll use to sell you an RV for the most money possible. And no, I can't even guarantee you that it will be the one most suited for you. You walk into the dealership. I set the stage. I look clean. I try to look like you. I'm friendly. Big smile. Shake your hand. I'll always look at you right in the eye when talking to you. I make every attempt possible to win you over. I like like a friend who wants to help you. Truth is, I'm faking everything. I want you to believe in me. Two. Size you up. I'll now determine if you're a serious player or a tire kicker. 
I only spend my time with those that I believe are going to buy. I look at everything. Your clothes, jewelry, teeth, your wife, everything. The way you talk to me. Do you look me in the eyes? Do you live nearby? Do you own a home? What kind of car do you drive? Children? Have you ever owned an RV? I pretend to be interested, but please understand, I'm just doing my work. Three. Now we start talking about RVs. I'll ask you what type of RV you're thinking about. What's your budget? Do you want to buy new? Used? If you have a trade-in, I'll ask you how much you want for it. I'll always nod my head yes. Even though it only gets you pennies on the dollar for your crappy used rig. Are you ready to buy today? If the deal is right, why not? Four. Let's go out to the lot. The kickers get dismissed. They're a waste of my time. I'm here to close. If I feel you're a prospect, I'll take you out to the lot and we'll look around. My technique? First, I show you a low-level RV. You're not going to like it. Next, I'll show you the one I want to put you in. But it'll be a bit out of your price range. But don't worry, it's a real beauty. Third, I'll show you the super expensive one. I've just manipulated into love the one I want to put you in. But it's out of your budget. Don't worry. More on that part in a moment. Five, the attack. Look, it gets what you pay for. You saw that first one I showed you. Do you want to be driving in that? You don't want to be driving in that POS. The one you really like is expensive? I know. Don't worry about the price. I'm going to work with you. I'm your friend. Not only am I going to get you a great price, but our financing will make this so easy. Paint a beautiful picture of spending time with the family in the rig. Mm. And now I'm going to throw in lots of free stuff. To start with, how about two years of free camping? This will save you so much money. Uh, note, I will keep pushing you to buy today so I can get you this unbelievable deal. Six, the test drive. Take your time. Let's see how it feels on the road. Let's talk as we're driving. I'm your best friend. Once I get you to agree to test drive this baby, you're mine and there's no turning back. Because I know exactly what to say as you're driving the rig. You have no idea, but the deal is done. Just give me an hour. Seven. Back at the dealership. To make a deal. We get back. Would you like a cup of coffee? Tea? Soda? Spring water? Anything else you'd like? Oh, while I'm out getting your refreshments, another salesman, we all help each other here, will pop his head looking for me. What he says to you will be pure genius. I'm Melvin. And I'm looking for Josh. Do you know where he is? You'll say, he just stepped out to get me a bottle of water. An $80,000 bottle of water, that is. <laughs> oh, because we have someone else who just called in for the second time about that exact same rig you're looking for. And now he's interested. In it. I really need Josh. Eight. Let's negotiate. Or at least let's pretend to negotiate. Because I have you in the palm of my hands. I come back in the office with the spring water. You want this rig more than ever now that someone else may be interested. I tell you that we just got a call about it, pretending not to know that Melvin told you. <laughs> but I tell you that since you're looking at it now, a simple $500 refundable good faith deposit will keep it out of the other guy's hands. You give me your credit card, because, of course, you want to beat this other loser to the punch. Good work. Now I hand you a contract with the best price. It's lower than sticker, uh, but still not a good deal. You're beat. Long day. You try to negotiate, and I may lower it a, a little bit more, but you can't put up much of a fight. You are literally worn out. Uh, by the way, did you read the contract of sale? <laughs> no. You trust me because I'm your friend. Nine. But you don't have that kind of money lying around. $80,000? <laughs> I 
No way. Don't worry. I take you over to the credit department. We have some very nice people there, and they're going to take great care of you. We all love you, and we want you to have the best deal ever. Sad thing is that you just got ripped off for the price of the RV, the financing, as well as your trade-in. We call this triple play. I know you enjoyed that spring water. Please be careful as you drive off the lot. That RV will depreciate at least, oh, 25% as you turn onto the street. 10. Let's summarize. What you should have learned. I'm not a nice guy. I do not have your best interest at heart. I do not really know that much about RVs. I'm a great manipulator. I understand human nature. I just made a lot of money. I'll do the same thing over and over and over again to feed my family. One more thing. I do understand that there are some great ethical RV salesmen out there, but they're not the norm. I am not one of the good guys. I'm Josh, the RV salesman. Catch me while you can because I may be selling solar energy power next week. Can I talk to you about your electric bill? Well, thanks, Josh. I mean, Robert, I mean, Josh, for helping me out here today. You're a great, you're a great RV salesman. <laughs> and um, I just want to say again, um, please, if you haven't liked yet, give us a like. By the way, if you want to get on our VIP list, I do a, um, not only do I come out with a brand new video um, every single, what is it, Tuesday at 9 a.m. Eastern time, but twice a month we go live. We do a live um, a live broadcast, a live stream right here on YouTube. And um, we, have a, we have a lot of, it's like, a, it's like one really nice RV family. And if, um, if you want to get, if you want to become a VIP, our VIPs get alerted up to the last minute when we're going to be going live so they never miss anything. And if you want to become a VIP, here's the information right here. Just text the word VIP to my number right there. And I'll make sure I get you on the list. And not only that, and my many, many, many VIPs can vouch for this. I will never abuse your number. I will never sell your number. I will never spam you. It's simply to give you last minute notifications when there's not a better way to do it. Uh, giving you notifications here on YouTube is slow. Email is slow. Texting is faster. And that's why I've got a VIP list. So again, I'd love to have join us on our VIP list. There's the information down below. And I hope you enjoyed this today. Um, if you like what you see, pass it on to a friend who might be able to use this information. And not only that, I'll see you next time because you know what? I am Dr. Dave, also known as the RV Dummy. See you later.